Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill here. And uh, Saturday was the uh, big game. Butler Bulldogs took on the undefeated number one ranked Indiana Hoosiers at Banker's Life Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Butler wasn't supposed to win this game. I think they were about 10 or 11 point underdogs and uh, they won the game. Um, like I predicted, by two points, like I predicted, I didn't predict the overtime part, but they won the game. So I just knew Butler felt like they had a lot to prove. And Indiana really hadn't played the defensive pressure and intensity that Butler brings. They hadn't played that in any other team. And I know Butler really wanted this win more than anything. Um, Butler moves up to 8-2. and two. Indiana falls to 8-1. and one. Um, Or maybe 9-1. and one. I can't even remember. It doesn't matter. I think 8-1. and 9-1. 9-1. Roosevelt Jones had 16 points on 6 of 10 shooting. Kyle Marshall had 11 points on 5 of 10 shooting. Andrew Smith had 12 points on 5 of 8 shooting, 1 of 1 behind the 3 point line. Alex Barlow hit the game winner, but he had 6 points on 2 of 3 shooting. Rodney Clark, 19 points on 7 of 19 shooting. He was 5 of 11 behind the 3 point line. Eric Fromm, 10 points on 4 of 7 shooting, 2 of 3 behind the 3 point line. Kellen Dunham, 8 points on 2 of 4 shooting, 1 of 2 behind the 3 point line. And Chase DeGaulle, 6 points on 2 of 7 shooting, 2 of 6 behind the 3 point line. You know, as this game was going on, I knew if Indiana uh, couldn't pull away, Butler was going to have confidence that they'd be able to come back and win this game. And uh, Indiana just couldn't pull away. I think they led by 6 or 7 points at most and they couldn't get any further than that. And when they did get it out to that point, everybody was texting me saying, oh, they're about to blow it open. But Butler uh, responded. They never lost their composure. They were calm, they were patient, and they made things happen. They really took it to Indiana. And uh, I mean, look at these stats here. Field goal percentage, Butler, 47.8%. Indiana, 42.9%. Three point field goal percentage, Butler, 45.8%. Indiana, 41.7%. Now the next two categories they had us beat, free throw percentage 71.1% to our 68.8%. And turnovers they had 13 compared to our 18. But rebounds, this shocked a lot of people. We had 40, they had 38. We dominated the boards. Um, uh, we started struggling there at the end because three of our guys fouled out, including Andrew Smith, our tallest player. But offensive rebounds, we had more. Defense rebounds, we had more. So therefore, total rebounds, we had more. And uh, led 30, or we were down 37, 33 at the half. But uh, won this game 88 to 86 in overtime. And when it went to overtime, I got to be honest with you, I thought we were done because three of our players fouled out. You know, Roosevelt Jones was gone, Andrew Smith was gone. And uh, somebody else was too. I can't remember who it was, but uh, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't looking good. But uh, we never, you know, we never gave up. Just like bulldogs, when they get up on you and they latch onto you, it's, it takes a lot to try to swing them off of you, get them off of you. And they bite on and they don't let go. And that's what Butler did. They just would not let go of Indiana, and uh, won the game. So. You know, we got to move on from here. That's out. We're, I'm not, we're done with Indiana. No more talk about Indiana. Yeah, it was a big win because it was our first ever win against the number one ranked team, but we've got to move on. I know some teams beat number one ranked teams and they, you know, talk about it for over a year or years to come, but, you know, that's just one game. That doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. We've got to do more than just that. That's got to be a building block for our, the rest of the season. So Indiana is now out of my mind. And uh, Evansville is our next opponent. We play them on Saturday at home. And Evansville could be a trap game. And the last two years we played them, actually, they have defeated us. And should not have. They were the underdogs. But they did beat us. So we've got to figure out a way to stop them. Uh, they've got a guy on their team who's a senior, one of the leaders in points in the NCAA named Colt Ryan, and he's always pretty hard to stop. So we've got to keep him in check. We've got to keep the rest of the team in check as well, make sure that they don't pick up where he's uh, not able to pick up on if we're able to put the defensive pressure on them. And we just can't have any letdowns. You know, now that we're ranked, we can't get big headed, and we just got to go in there and win these games. So we've definitely got to take care of these little opponents like this and then uh, worry about the big opponents later. So. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and uh, go Bulldogs.